Hello. What do you want? Yes, I have the staff Baron sold me. I'm afraid I'm not willing to part with it. I paid good money for it after all. You understand, of course. Yes? We understand each other perfectly. I doubt you really... That's enough. Don't me... I like that. A lot. Your... Was that supposed... You... Where did you get that? That's good. I'll take that. And thank your good. Be seeing. You. Well met. Look, I can't just give it to you. I paid good money for it, after all. I'll tell you what. You give me at least a portion of what I paid for it. Say, 200 gold, and I'll give you the staff. That's a good deal, right? I wouldn't offer it to anyone else, just you. So, what do you say? I'll just take the money from you, then. And here's your staff. <laughs> now, since our business is concluded, you must excuse me. Good day. What is it? Eulen Athram, of the Craigenmoor Athrams. Made my fortune in the Flynn trade, and now I'm here in the city, living the life of ease. Please, go on. Oh. I don't miss Morrowind. All that sour tribunal grumbling and old-fashioned ancestor worship. Good riddance. The King and Queen Tavern isn't a bad place to stay if you're visiting the city. Be seeing you. What's this about? Do you have the mage's staff associate? Ah, wonderful. I shall be most pleased to return this to its rightful owner. Thank you. You needn't tell me the details of what was involved in getting it. It's perhaps better that I know nothing about it. Your actions for the guild more than merit a recommendation. I shall send it to the university promptly. And to thank you more personally, I shall teach you this spell. You may find it useful in certain circumstances. For you, of course. Don't worry. What a great store is that? Where'd you get that? That's good. Don't waste your well. Your way. That's really funny. What nonsense! 
Well done. Oh, that's really funny. Not now. Really? You're way. That's great. How's it go again? Not now. Not later. I wish I could. You can't. Where'd you get that? That's good. Not only has necromancy been banned from... Don't take this sojourn lightly. The recesses of the mind can be the darkest place of all. May the wind... Yes? Oh boy, good luck getting that. De Gale's the only one who can write one. If she can remember who she is today, that is. The roads near Anvil are safer now, thanks to Carahill and her guild hall. She's an example for us all. Goodbye. Hello, Associate. You seek wisdom from me, child? Ah, no, you seek words. Words are difficult. They come and go. The voices, though, so loud they are, they drown out the words. Without my amulet, my stone to lock the voices away, the words will never come and stay. Would you lift your hands to help another? To help me find the words? Then seek Agatha, child. She will see the path and set you on it. I must rest. She may be young, but her heart is old and wise. It guides her well through these troubled times. Let me see your hand. I see the city in the hand, and the hand in the stars. The tower guards the gate, but the gate holds the key. The king is the key, and the hand guards the king. The guild needs you, child. Perhaps it has always needed you always been waiting for you. Archmage Traven is the first to take such a hard stance on necromancy. It upset more than a few people. Within its walls live those who determine the fate of the guild. It is our stronghold, our sanctuary. You will come to know it well in time. I have seen it. Farewell, child. 
Yes? Is there something I can help you with, Associate? Certainly. Don't try. Sorry. Such. I won't fight you. What a. What n You. Such adventures. How I envy you. Don't waste. That's just. I salute you. Most impressive. I won't fight you. What n you think that? I salute you. Most imp I can't argue with that. What a thoughtful gift. You win. What n That's. I salute you. Most impressive. I see. I take care of what little administrative work there is. De Gale isn't interested. I do it because it has to be done and no one else wants to do it. You may need to ask around, but training in all the schools of magic can be found at our various guild halls. I'm surprised she discussed it with you. She wanted to keep it from the others. I should speak to her about that. Yes, her seer stone is missing. It's the one thing that has kept her visions at bay. And without it, they're nearly crippling. She can't function. We haven't yet spoken to the others, for fear they would be less than accepting of her situation. Perhaps it is time, though. I will continue to tend to DeGale. Can you speak with the other mages and find out if any of them have seen the stone? She's led such a troubled life. I just do what I can to make it easier on her. The Mages Guild runs more or less like it always did, but we lost quite a few members when the practice of necromancy was banned. Always keep your magic equipment charged. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Goodbye.
What is it, associate? What is it, associate? Strassa of the Mages Guild, evoker and alchemist, and also, in his scant free time, a trainer in alchemy. But perhaps you are an adventurer? Could you assist me in acquiring something for my crystal collection? Straight to the point, eh? Good, I like that. I'm searching for some specific crystals, known as Garadan's Tears. If you can locate these objects for me, I'd pay handsomely for each one. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment that I saw you. I want you to bring me as many of Garadan's Tears as you can find. If you do, I will pay you a fair bounty in gold for each one. I confess I have a weakness for crystals of a magical nature, and I must add these to my collection. This is a personal errand, you must understand, just between you and I. The Mages Guild has nothing to do with it. Please, go on. She's been a great help to all of us in the guild. Without her, I think the Gale would be lost at times. Nice lady, but strange. Talks to herself far more often than one should, in my opinion. Sometimes I wonder why she hasn't just retired and gone someplace to rest. I'm afraid I don't know anything about it. I heard it was missing, though. Kalthar was talking about it recently. He seemed very agitated about it. Almost happy. Strange, isn't that? All of the local guild halls sell some amount of alchemic ingredients, but for the best stuff, you'll need to do some exploring on your own. I am the best alchemist in Leowin, but if you need advanced training, you'll need Brach Kalos in Bruma or Ardalim in Braville. The tears are not just a namesake. They're literally the frozen tears of a knight named Garadan Stauros, who lived many years ago. I'm not certain what happened to the knight or why the tears were frozen, but I do know someone you could ask. Seek out Juliana Fanis at the Arcane University in the Imperial City. She oversees the Alchemy Headquarters there. 
If anyone can help you get more information about these crystals, she can. Let's see if we can't teach you a thing or two. Bring my salutations to Giuliani. Safe journey to you. Nice to meet you. We'll see. You're a... Is that... That's great. I like you too. You can't... You're pathetic. I like... Thank you. That's really funny. That's just lo I like you too. You can't. You're pathetic. That. Thank you. That. that lo You're too kind. You're pathetic. Your waste all oh, it's good of you to say so. Is that don't make that's I like you too. That's great. How's it go again? How blah blah blah. What a bore. You're wasting. Don't make me laugh. It's good of you. Where'd you get that? That's good. Oh, don't. Oh, how nice. You're. Oh, you're too kind. You're good. Agata is the first person I go to when I need something. Maybe I should talk to Dagale instead. But I just don't feel comfortable doing that. All I heard was that it was important to Dagale, and it was missing. Kalthar didn't tell me anything more than that. She was a very powerful mage once, from what I understand. Hard to imagine that, honestly. The Leowin chapter is just drifting along. Dagale isn't much of a mentor or leader. She isn't even coherent most of the time. Druja has a wide variety of spells for sale if there's something you need. Most of them are simple, but they're a good starting point. I heard that one of the Skingrad mages was assaulted, but I don't know the details. May all your travels be safe.
Yes? Is there something I can help you with, Associate? I don't know what... Goodbye. Hello, Associate. Nothing has changed, child. The voices still cry out, and I am unable to hear. If they can be sealed away, our work may begin. Farewell, child.
What do you want? Oh, we'll see. I... <laughs> Good one. That's... No, you do me too much honor. Blow... I doubt it. <laughs> Good one. What a wonderful compliment. I doubt. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> no, you do me too much honor. That's. I doubt it. Sure, that's cute. Really, now, you're such a charmer. She's the one you want to talk to if you actually need something to get done around here. I don't even know why DeGale is still around. Well, well. Word is finally spreading, is it? They won't be able to keep up this facade much longer. Yeah, I know all about it. I overheard Agata and Dagail talking. And you know what? I'm glad it's gone. Why should we be forced to work under someone who's only kept sane by a magical trinket? Haven't we sacrificed enough already? She shouldn't even be here anymore. Hell, the only reason her father ever fit in anywhere is because he kept a low profile. And look what it got him. Years of service to the Empire, and not even a tombstone over his head. Humph. At least he was able to maintain the illusion of sanity. I know. I get way too fired up over this. It just annoys me that she's in charge of the Guild, when she's clearly not fit, that's all. I've heard she was put in charge of the Leowen Guild Hall as a favor, not because she deserved it. That doesn't seem right, does it? Goodbye. Murder someone. The Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. Hello? Yes? Is there something I can help you with, Associate? So Kalthar overheard us, did he? That explains why he's been so cranky lately. But we never said anything about DeGale's father. How would he know anything about that? If there's some sort of connection between the Seer Stone and DeGale's father, I don't know about it. Maybe if you ask her, it will jog her memory. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on Kalthar. <laughs> Bye. The Anvil Guild has made quite a name for it. You seek more from me, child? It is as I have seen. I know what you would ask. You would bring light to that which is in darkness, bring silence to the voices so loud. I know where you must go. Blood ran blue and dragons flew high. Under broken towers and broken bodies it now lies, waiting to be found. What was my sire's must be mine if you would have the words you seek. You must go and find his stone. Certainly not. What's 
What's the news from the other parts of Tamlia? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Have pity on an old war veteran. Well, you found the three sisters. Beds and food. Not cheap, but you get what you pay for. I'm Shuravi, the sister that works and worries. Shamada is sweet and decorative. Shomara is dumb as a post. But she can cook, at least. I understand that Sadrasa is still trying to create a potion to cure skooma addiction. Blackwood Company is putting the Fighters Guild to shame. They're a new mercenary company competing with the Guild. Beast people and other savages work cheap and fast. No job too tough. Not fussy, either. Fighters Guild better watch out. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. We'll see. Yeah, I... I... What? No more! You're frightening me! I... Not now. No more! You're frightening... Sure, that's cute. What nonsense. I doubt it. Yeah, don't, please, I'm sorry. I accept. I have no choice. I don't... Yeah, I get it. I... D not now. No more. You're frightening me. Sure, that's cute. Take care. Julita Plotius. I'm Beto's wife. Well, I don't know much about politics, but I think Lady Alicia's right. We've got to put a stop to all these bandits and rabble in the Transnibbon. I know the Khajiit are all upset that the Council took away their land and gave it to us, but they just have to get over it. It's our land now. Have you been near Resentia Galenis's house recently? Smells horrible. Like she left some meat out to spoil. Every time I pass by that woman's house, I hear odd animal noises and smell a foul odour. Maybe she's caring for some sick pet or something. Whatever it is, she should clean up her act. It's surprising that a wealthy woman like that would let her property fall into such disarray. Goodbye. Greetings. I'm Shimada, hostess of the Three Sister Inn. Speak to Shiravi if you need beds or meals. We'll see. No, you do me too much. Sure, that's cute. I doubt it. No, I doubt it. Good one. Please, I'm embarrassed, but thank you. Don't... I doubt... Not bad, not... No, you do me too much honor. Yeah, I get it. That... I doubt... Really, now you're such a charmer.
good one. Blow up. I what a wonderful compliment. I doubt please, I'm embarrassed, but thank you. I doubt it. Yeah, I get it. What a wonderful compliment. Goodness. I good one. That's not bad. Goodbye. It has no master. How are you? What is it? What is it? What can I do for you? What are you looking for? The Mage's Guild is south of the chapel by the West Wall. The Fighter's Guild is across the street from the Mage's Guild. Orc named Mazoga says she's a knight. <laughs> I doubt it. The Count wants it looked into. Why don't you talk to him? The Count appears for audiences in the County Hall near the throne weekdays between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. What are you looking for? The castles to the east and the chapel near the West Gate. Shops, guilds, and inns are south of the chapel, and some shops are by the North Wall. Take care. Let's hear it.
What's that? Hello, who's there? Get this over with. Jump on my sword while you can. <laughs> Thank you. 
but the ugliest is the bill. Shabby, tumble-down shacks. Ooh. Look, uh, uh, just stop right there, all right? I can't let you leave with that amulet. I need it right now. I took the other one, and that should have been enough. I shouldn't have to go through all this just to get rid of her. It's not even as if I was going to keep it forever. I was going to give it back to her once I'd gotten what I wanted. That's not so wrong, is it? Once she helped me advance out of that place and step down, then she could have it back. Why did you have to get in the way? Why are you trying to ruin everything?
Right. What can I do for you, citizen? Hello, associate. Nothing has changed, child. The voice... Found it, have you? Silenced the hands that betrayed and took what was mine? Then let me have the stone so that the voices can be shut out. Ah, oh, child, I thank you for helping me. With the voices quieted for now, the words you seek have come to me. You shall have my recommendation. Though I must warn you, I've seen things in your future. Things which may be, and things which will be. It will be up to you to decide the fate of many. Life and death are strange things, easily manipulated, and both will be altered by your hands. Your time has come. The Arcane University needs you, child. Raminus Polus waits for you even now. Great things will befall you. There will be trials, but you will prevail. You must, for the good of the Guild. Farewell. <laughs>